Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is What type of inheritance does this pedigree below show? So here is a pedigree and here is a variance to choose from. And what you see here can be explained with X-link recessive genetic disorder and that means that this person, affected person number one, have to have one defective X chromosome, not the whole chromosome, of course, but one allele on this chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And his wife phenotypically, and we assume genotypically normal. So what happens in F1 generation with the three children? Take a look. If male have defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome, his wife has two normal X chromosomes. If we build simple Punnett square, the ratio of the different genotypes in the progeny are going to be as follows. So normal X chromosome from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side. Normal X chromosome from the mother side, Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, and defective X chromosome from the father side, and normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So as you see, children of this couple, all sons are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal, but all daughters are going to be obligate heterozygous or obligate carriers. So the genotype have to be defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. We assume that this person who is unrelated to this couple are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. Because the son of this couple is affected, that means that he got from the mother side defective X chromosome and from the father side normal Y chromosome. But because this is X-linked recessive genetic disorder and males have only one X chromosome, in males this recessive X-linked genetic disorder is manifest itself as dominant. And genotype of the female can be with the two normal X chromosomes. So in this case, normal chromosome inherited from the father side and normal chromosome inherited from the mother side. Or genotype of female can be normal X chromosome inherited from the father side and defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, but still her phenotype is going to be normal. Let's make another Punnett square. So genotype of the male is normal, phenotype and genotype, and mother is heterozygous. So she's obligate heterozygous and here's her genotype and phenotype is normal. But let's take a look what's going to happen to the progeny defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. Defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So as you see, 50% of the male progeny are going to be affected. 50 are not going to be affected, but all female progeny of this couple are going to be phenotypically normal. Those 50% are going to be a carriers. Let's also analyze what we see here, whether this family confirms our findings or not. Take a look. From the father side, this male only can get Y chromosome. This specifies his maleness. So from the father side, he got Y chromosome. And from the mother side, he only can get normal X chromosome. So he is a, his uh, genotype. And we assume that this female also phenotypically and genotypically normal. Of course, such couple are going to have only phenotypically and genotypically normal progeny. And this is exactly what we see here. What about this daughter? According to our Punnett square, she's a obligate carrier. So her genotype is normal X chromosome and defective X chromosome. 
and we assume that this person is genotypically normal. And in this case, when mother is obligate carrier, that means that all daughters are going to be phenotypically normal, but 50% of the male progeny are going to be affected. We also can put genotypes here. So this female from the father side got normal X chromosome and from the mother side, this female can get with a defective X chromosome or normal. So we put just a blank space here. As for the male here, we know that from the father side, he got Y chromosome and from the mother side, he got normal X chromosome. We know this for sure because if he would get this defective X chromosome, his phenotype would be affected just like uh, of this person here. And of course, this couple in the middle are going to have phenotypically and genotypically normal children. So we can explain what you see here with warranty X link recessive genetic disorder, why it's not dominant, because in this case, uh, this X chromosome, which would be inherited by this female, if it's going to be dominant genetic disorder, she also going to manifest this genetic disorder and she is going to be affected. But this is not the case what we see here. So it's only can be X-link recessive genetic disorder and the whole pattern of this pedigree proves our suggestion. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.